Hello. All right. So younger me decided to get older me a present and it, since it was still me, I completely forgot about it. So welcome to Loot Anime Unboxing. Let's get into this. All right. So unsealing the box. And this is a lot smaller than I was expecting. Kind of like the RPG crate was. Um, I was expecting something a little bigger. Um, just because I guess I got spoiled to the Discovery um, Curiosity Box, not Discovery Box. Anyway, I guess I got spoiled to that. Okay. So, this is what I open up to. Alright, so I get... Wait. Okay. This is not loot anime. Just stating that? I have to redo this. And the reason why I say that is I was expecting loot anime because I did buy that. Um, for the half thing. And that is not what this is. It is in the loot anime box. So first, I get paper. Then the next thing I saw um, was this um, next gen Star Trek, which I did order a Star Trek box. So let's see. Origin of Data, which um, Star Trek 30. This is a Loot Crate exclusive. <laughs> okay. Um, next is a air freshener with the Vulcan symbol for Live Long and Prosper. I would normally be so much more excited in this box because uh, I can't decide if I'm happy or not. But anyway, it's vanilla flavored, so I will put this up in my car that will be used. Um, part of me is excited and part of me is disappointed because I did order half off on a loot anime. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Okay, next is this wrapper um, that I... Star Trek Next Gen Loot Crate Exclusive, opening it up, and what is this? Okay, this is the USS Enterprise, the um, NCC-1701D, um, which, let's see. It has the Starfleet Command, the Engineering Group, the Warp Technologies Department Group, um, that sort of stuff. Not quite really sure what this is. It just says... I am so confused by this. Anyway, so that's what this is. Um. <laughs> okay, next is socks, which I'm assuming that this is socks. Yes, these are socks. Okay. And then loot crate pen. Um, this is, I, I am happy about this pen. I like this pen. That's pretty cool. Live long and prosper. All right. So, um, I really don't even know what to think about this box, to be honest. Oh, this is the promo! Okay, that makes more sense. Oh my gosh, okay, basically, um, there's this little thing right here that says it's a Star Trek promo. If I would have saw that, <laughs> Okay, I am now no longer disappointed with this box. Okay, so I was starting to get disappointed because I did order Loot Anime as the 
the half off for $14 and I was like kind of expecting that because it's in the loot anime and like I said I did order the Star Trek boxes which I <laughs> Okay, so apparently the Star Trek box will be coming out soon, and it's not out yet, I'm guessing. And that's why um, they sent a promo so that we wouldn't still be disappointed with it. Because I've been looking for this box, like, I thought it was going to come in November, but because of Thanksgiving, they, um, all the stuff was shipped out, like, a couple weeks later. So it's, like, the middle of December, and I'm just now getting this. And, um, kind of like with the RPG crate, it was several weeks after the fact. And so I'm just, like, on pins and needles waiting on my boxes. And... <laughs> oh my gosh. They got me on this one. This, this could have been a prank video. Like... <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> okay, so I think that the loot crate boxes unfold. Um, let's see. I know on the curiosity boxes, Joshua's been doing this, but let's see if I can figure out how to unfold said box. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm, I'm labeling this as a little bit misrepresented because it's in the loot anime box. But it did show at the very bottom of the um, shipping label that it was the Star Trek promo. So with that being the case, for a promo box, it came with uh, all of these, um, well not all of them, the, let's see, the loot, the pin, and the, um, the, I'm going to open this because it's got the box on the back. Part of me didn't want to open it because of it possibly just being a comic. Okay, it is a comic book. Um, so that's cool. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Um, looks like they have a preview for another comic coming up with, um, let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's a newer version of the characters. Yeah, Star Trek Bold Lego based on Star Trek Beyond. Um, okay, so, um... Let's see. It does give the advertisement for the Star Trek box. Socks, the air freshener pen, and once again, I'm not exactly sure what this is. Maybe a sticker? Yes, okay. I just peeled off the back. This is a sticker. Okay, so I got a sticker, a pen, air freshener, socks, and a, mat and a comic book. For a promo, that's five things. I am satisfied as a promo box. I'm hoping that the other boxes are, oh, I don't even know what to say. Like, I have high expectations for the Star Trek box and um, was not expecting a promo. So that was nice on their part. It became a little bit of a prank because of the box they decided to use, but it is not a bad thing. <laughs> So anyway, I will show y'all what this looks like as soon as I figure out how to open the box. Um, I just, I'm wondering why they decided to use anime because even though, yes, I am into anime and I am into Star Trek, you know, science fiction and stuff like that, it's just, of all the boxes to do, why did they choose the anime logo one? Um... Unless they assume that people who like science fiction also like anime, which, I mean, there are science fiction categories. 
uh, as a category of anime, I should say, like Cowboy Bebop and um, Trigun and stuff like that. Oh, gosh. This one is proving to be a little bit more difficult than the other side. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's what I got. Looks like the inside of a ship. There we go. So yeah, that could be a backdrop for like characters or something. So we have a ship going. So see, that is cool. And I can appreciate this now that I know it's a promo and that they are still thinking about the fact that we did order this stuff and it will be here eventually. I don't have anything back there for it to sit on. Okay, anyway, <laughs> so knowing this is a promo box, I think that it was unexpected, um, obviously, because my, I, I know I'm so a little, I could tell I was disappointed whenever there was no t-shirt, there was like, um, like this, I'm not against it. I will use this, but this is not the sort of material I was expecting in a loot crate box. This, yes, this is fantastic. The socks, um, like, it reminds me of stuff you can get on Think Geek and, you know, stuff like that. Although this does say loot crate exclusive, but, um, I mean, you got all sorts of ships on here, different, um, like, stuff, but... Okay, so anyway, I'm torn. I love it and hate it at the same time. It's a promo, so it's okay. I will be getting my real box in the mail soon, hopefully. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video because I was confused as I'll get out until I saw that little wording at the bottom that said promo. Um, I'm an anime person, so the fact that it wasn't anime and I had ordered a half off anime I didn't get it. I'm gonna have to look into that now. Um, or at least I thought I got it. Maybe I didn't. Maybe that's why I forgot. It's because I considered it and said no. I don't know. I will look into that. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Part of me wonders if I should unbox this again now that I know it's a promo. I should. Okay. Here. I guess the takeaway lesson is to look at the back of it completely. So make sure that it is from to you, first of all. And yes, mine did say it was to me. And see if there's any little annotations at the bottom that would indicate it's something else besides what it is obviously shown as. I think that would be the takeaway I get from this. So um, don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge a box by what it has on the outside. I will catch you guys later. And I hope you enjoyed this. All right, bye. Hi, Des. So this morning you sent me a text message saying you got a box in, and um, so did I. Fairly sure I got the same one that you did. It says loot anime, but um, the back says one time Star Trek promo, or just one Star Trek promo. So we're going to be opening it. Um, I have no idea what to expect. Actually, I have a minor idea of what to expect because you sent me a text, but I don't remember what was in that text because I had a lot of stuff going on at work today. So, probably help if I put this up right. I can't see. Um, first off, our list of things. I have black paper. Wait, that's not him. It's packing. Wow. All right. Um, first item in the bag is a pair of socks, and I am going to see if I can get these open in a reasonable amount of time. Yes, I can. Wow. 
All right, so cool thing about these socks is, uh, pull the string, oops. Shows me for getting ahead. It's the Enterprise at different viewpoints. It's kind of cute. I have no idea if these will even fit me though. They probably will, but just in case. Um, next, next item in the box was the Star Trek comic book for Star Trek Next Generation. Um, Origin of Data. So that'll be a neat little thing to see. Just kind of looking at it, the, um, ah, it's mirror broken and based off of the symbols on the ship, it looks like that's going to be the alternate universe where everyone's evil. So we will see how that looks. I'm half tempted to keep it, but I also know it's probably not worth a whole lot yet. So I might open it, read it, we'll see how it goes. Um, we have the Star Trek pin, which, um, to be honest, I might as well have this at work because I do that to everyone who I see. Um, do that all the time. I even do it on these videos all the time. So that'll be a neat little um, bit. And our last two items, we have the vanilla air freshener. Again, doing the Vulcan Salute. And one, one real quick thing. The Vulcan Salute is also a Jewish um, blessing. And it looks like this. And it means Almighty. I'm going to guess it also means Almighty bless you. Um, so, last item. It's Loot Crate exclusive. I don't really want to ruin it. So I'm going to peel away slowly. We'll see what this looks like on the inside. Definitely has a smell to it. It's a very rigid bit, so... Okay, that's kind of cool. It's a decal for the USS Enterprise. <laughs> um, so this is the plaque that they use on... Um, Every one of the ships has a plaque on it, and, um, wow. <laughs> um, what's it, what I, the, the first thing that immediately struck me was Starfleet Command, and you have um, Admiral Gene Roddenberry, the guy who created Star Trek. Um, Fifth starship to bear the name. Yeah, this is Enterprise D's plaque. So that that's a cool little bit. Um, I will be putting it back in its package so as not to ruin it or lose it. But that that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, the um, the crate. I'm, I'm fairly sure, as um, you suggested to me earlier, that this crate is not the complete package because um, it's a promo crate. So I figure um, they're basically they're setting up a Star Trek crate or something and they um, wanted to do kind of like a test run, I guess. I know you were saying like it's not finished. They were sending out the first bits for the people who ordered it. And I'm wondering if that, that might be it too. But I'm also wondering if it's just a um, case of uh, we want to produce, we want to present something for the people who bought this crate and also do a test run on it. So, and I'm clinking and clinking and clinkity clinks. And the final image, I, I don't really know, I don't think it's quite Star Trek, but um, it's a spaceship on the inside. So that's kind of cool. Um, so, yeah, I will. Favorite thing of the box. It's kind of hard because I like Star Trek a lot, and um, I like the plaque. Um, I liked the Live Long and Prosper pen, and I like the comic book. The socks, I thought it was a little bad because I kind of messed them up a tiny bit, um, but I can still, I, I should still be able to wear them. I need to check to see uh, these 100% cotton. 
No, they are not. <laughs> so I will not be wearing these to work. Um, so, and they also have a little Star Trek um, 2016 CBS ARR. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, I don't know really what my favorite thing is. It would probably fall between these three items. So the comic, the pen, or the plaque decal. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess uh, let us know uh, what your thoughts were. Um, I, I liked it. It was a pretty neat little bit. It also, I like that it has the, uh, real quick, it has the um, view screen version. I'll, I'll put a link to the actual name of what this is called. But it's the display that you'll see on the ship, and it shows you the entire cross-section of the ship. So, Alright, well, I love you, Des, and I will talk to you later. Bye.